so what's a clever intro we could do for this game? Do you just want to not have a clever intro? Yes, I want to have a clever intro. Well, what if we make this the clever intro that we can't think of a clever intro, so that'll <laughs> actually be like a meta joke? Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Oh, well, let's talk about it. What does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Oh, yeah, you we are back again today for another game review, another special tag team review. Boom, 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 boom. And today, we're very excited to be talking about Numeracy Legends and the Gluttony Dragon. This is for two to five players, ages six plus, 12 to 25 minutes to play. That's a weird <laughs> type, time length. And it's from a company called Shepherd Kit. They put out three games in the Numeracy Legends series. Me and Luke checked out the first one. This is the second one. Uh, it's a little bit more advanced. And in this one, this is a one versus all game, but you can also go one versus one, where everyone is going to take control of a different character. On one team, you are going to have the Gluttony Dragon, which I'll get out right here. It's going to have a slightly larger board because they're going to have a whole boatload of help, and they are going to be trying to defeat all of the other people. So if we were playing a three-player game, uh, Sean might be the Archer, Luke might be the Knight, and I might be the Gluttony Dragon. And on your turn, it's really, really simple what you're going to do in this game. So what do you do if you're the Gluttony Dragon? Because the Gluttony Dragon pretty much um start does the first thing on every single turn draw two cards yeah you're just gonna choose one and give the other to the heroes and these cards are going to have a whole wide variety of different things that are either going to bump up your defense by one or bump up your attack by one and you're going to put them on your board and there's all these little tokens that come and play to kind of uh manage this do you really feel like that well we'll talk more about that in the review uh so the, the dragon's always going to take one, then he's going to hand one to the other group. They're going to decide how they who they want to give it to, and then they both are just going to attack each other. And this is kind of done in a rock, paper, scissors fashion, where you're either going to attack with your sword, with your magic, or with your range. And uh, depending on what the other people pick, because everyone's going to be attacking, you know, uh, the good guys are going to be attacking the dragon, and the dragon is going to be swiping at both of them. And then you pretty much just compare and say, oh, look, you attacked me with swords, and since I use magic, I only do one damage, and you do three damage to me. But then you also look at the modifiers on the cards, because the modifiers on the cards will give you plus one to your armor uh, against magic, or plus ones to your range, all sorts of different things. And then you deal the damage out, and you rinse, wash, and repeat until either the dragon is dead, or both of, or all, of the, other, the people on the good team are alive. Did I miss anything, Major? Yes. What? If all of the heroes are dead. Oh, yeah. If all the heroes are dead, the dragon wins. Yeah. Uh, now, the game also has a weird rule where if one person dies, they're not actually dead at all. Like, I don't think it really does anything. I think the only the thing is you can't get more cards. And also, because we're getting into the review now. Let's talk about the review. Uh, let's start off with you, Luke. What did you think about the game? It was good. What did you like about it? Let you can be the Gluttony Dragon. Yeah, Luke is very... We played this twice, and I played it, uh, I think, once or twice in my classroom, and it just kind of sat in the box after that. Uh, but yeah, you can play as the Gluttony Dragon. It's pretty easy. I think kids can do it with a little bit of help from grown-ups or with some other bigger kids, right? Yeah. You think so? Mm -hmm. He's pretty excited to do it next time. Remember, the camera's up there, buddy. Yeah. Uh, so what do you think, Luke? Or what do you think, Sean? Um, I like the game. What did you like about it? I liked... How different objects gave you different abilities. Like, how does a also some of them didn't make sense. Like, how does a wizard hat make it so you're a little bit more protected? It's just a hat. Yeah. So you're talking about you like the theme. You thought the theme, yeah, because there's like there's a rocket launcher and there's <laughs> there's ice cream. I was using ice cream yeah. as armor and cupcakes as armor. I smeared mud on my face to block arrows. Also, yeah. also there's a chicken leg you can whack. There's <laughs> a face yeah. chicken leg. And that's one of the pros that I have with this game because I am going to mention quite a good deal on the cons. But the pros, they really like the theme. They enjoyed the theme. And I think I remember playing in my classroom with younger kids. They enjoyed the theme as well. It's easy to learn and easy to teach, I'd say. Aside from the rules being... I don't. What, you read the rules. You had to read the rules like twice. And I read the rules twice, right? Yeah. They weren't the best. 
Yeah, they weren't the best. Yeah, they, and the, the main thing is, most of the information you're really going to kind of be wanting to know about is in this uh, this appendix, which has, like, basic and advanced combat and stuff like that. And, and I just felt like they could have done it in potentially a cleaner way. It's not a deal breaker, and we, we eventually learned how to figure out the game. But, as I'll get into the cons, there are some things that we couldn't figure out. Like, what happens if everybody dies at the same time? Which happened once, and then it happened in my class, and then it almost happened to us again, right? Yeah. You know, there's, there's these other situational questions that I just wasn't sure about, which, you know, for a children's game, it's kind of inexcusable because there's not that many rules in the first place. Uh, anything else you guys like about this game you want to mention on the pro side? Mm. Hmm? What do you think about the advanced mode? We played with the advanced mode. The advanced mode is very simple. Essentially, you just get one card at the beginning of the game, and it says, oh, you got to do something fancy uh, at one point throughout the game. And if you're the, the gluttony dragon, you only get one card. It just says heal six. But what do you think about the advanced mode? I liked, we didn't yeah. play all the advanced mode because we didn't do these little things. Oh, yeah, there is more, an even more advanced mode, which will make your character feel slightly different. Uh, well, not slightly different, slightly more powerful in whatever they should be powerful. So, like, the knight's going to have, you know, better defense or better better sword. But what were you going to say, Luke? I liked it about it. There's this robot card that mm. you can use any in the game in the advanced version, there's different cards, and the robot card lets you pick a card from a pile mm -hmm. any, so, in any time of the game. I'm pretty sure I read that it blocks all attacks for the first round. No. Uh, you read a different card. He had a card, his robot card, his advanced robot card, which let him draw a card. So he got to start off with an extra card, which... Uh, Almost helped us win the game. We It was so close. It was one health that Sean had left. Yes. Well, it almost helped us kill you at the same time as we killed them. But let's get into the cons. Uh, because moving on to the cons, I don't think this game is particularly great. I think we have a lot better games at home. I don't know. I, what do you guys think about that? Like, I know you guys enjoy this game, but are there other games at home you'd rather play? Yes. Quite uh, a few of them? Yeah, I want to know the one I want to do. What? This. Uh... Uh, the last one. Oh, the green one. Yeah, the last box, which I will agree, I think is, um, it's, it's, yeah, I think it's better. I think it's a better game for the age range. I also think the rules were better than this one was. Uh, but we still have one more to go in the series, too, so we'll have to check that one out as well. But just the rule booklet not being as good as you'd want it to. The choice is being really quite simple. It's just pretty much on your turn. It's just, hey, which one of these do you want? And if you're the gluttony dragon, then, uh, that's a cool choice, but if you're, if you're not the like, if you're playing a two-player game, it's just like your your turn is the good guy is. Hey, here's a card, pick one of these. Here's a card, pick one of these. Here's one of the card, pick one of these. Here's a card, pick one of these. You don't really get any choices or you get to do anything at all. You know what I mean? Oh uh, yeah. But because I like, I tend to like games more with choices. I think there's a lot of other better children's and family games out there. That being said, they really still enjoyed this one and they enjoyed the theme, so we are going to be keeping it on our shelf for the time being. Sound good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, also, um. You, you haven't done the first box with me. Well, yeah, me and Sean, uh, me and Luke did it together. It was for ages four plus. It was, uh, it was more on the simple side. Okay. Yeah. Whereas this one is ages six plus, and I think the next one is ages eight plus. Ooh. But there you go. There's Numeracy Legends and the Gluttony Dragon from uh, Shepherd Kit. Odd name. If you enjoy what I'm doing, uh, to go, to, if you enjoy what I'm doing, check this out. No, that's not how it works. If you enjoy this, uh, oh my gosh, I'm getting, I'm getting, can you, can you do my outro for me, Sean? So just give it a whirl. What? I, um, I don't know. Just try your best. Okay. Don't worry. I'm just curious to see what you think my, my outro sounds like. Because you've heard it a lot, but you've never probably... Just try your best. Don't worry about it. Um, okay. I don't really like talking in front of people. Then why'd you want to shoot this review? Because I guess I'm just nervous talking by myself. Oh, okay. So, what do I want them to do? Let's think about that. Subscribe. Click on that subscribe button down below. Uh -huh. then, I, then I, the new thing that because I'm trying to hit reach how many subscribers? Do you remember? Thousand. Nine thousand subscribers. So, right, nine year anniversary of making YouTube content. Also, consider supporting the Patreon what? down below because I'm currently a stay at home dad. Uh, and I, we probably don't look like we're in the safest situation right now. We're actually on a camper, teeny tiny little camper on a teeny tiny little lake that my grandma gave us this camper. But, uh, it's awesome, isn't it, boys? Yeah. Aside from how hot it is right now. Yeah. Stupid hot. So we should probably wrap this up, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay.
Don't just want to stretch it out or anything. <laughs> yeah, just like, uh, uh, yeah, all right. That's, that's no good for anybody. Um, yeah. So what do I do next? Um, end the video?